We're going to be using number lines to solve integer word problems. This is Lesson 18G, and I've got the previous videos for Lesson 18 linked in the description to help you. Number lines can be vertical, like a thermometer, or horizontal. They can help us to add or subtract integers, you know, negative or positive whole numbers and zero. So here we've got a number line, and you can see I've got some colorful rays drawn above it. To read these, we start with the one that's closest to the number line. So we start at a 2, and we're going 1, 2, 3, 4 into the negative. So that means we have 2 plus a negative 4. Then the next line right above it is at the negative 2, and it's going up to the 1. We're adding 3. See? 1, 2, 3. Going towards positive, we're adding. Then we end up at a positive 1, and we're going to go 1, 2, two, three, four, five to the negative, so we're subtracting five. We can see that brings us to a negative four. We can also group the like terms together. We have a positive two and a positive three. We can add those together and get a five, a positive five. We can group the negative four and the negative five together to get a negative nine, and five plus a negative nine is a negative four. See? We can use the number line to add positive integers by hopping to the right and add negative integers by hopping to the left. We can also solve it by combining the integers like we did, okay? So here's one that's vertical. It's going up and down. You can see here's zero, and the red ones are the negative numbers, and above zero, the green ones are the positive numbers. And it says a number x is four more than halfway between negative two and negative eight. So we need to find out what x is. We need to solve for x. We know it's 4 more than whatever this halfway mark is. So we find negative 2 and negative 8, and we find the number that's halfway between them. Well, that's a negative 5. And it says it's 4 more than that, so we're going to hop up 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're at a negative 1. See? We find the number that's halfway between the negative 2 and negative 8, and then add 4 by hopping 4 upwards, because we're going positive. It's 4 more. All right? Here we've got a horizontal one. You can see the 0 in the middle, the negative numbers, and the positive numbers. So if this was to help us with dollar amounts, and Tala had $5, and she spent $2, and then Emma borrowed a dollar from her, and then she earned $5 walking the neighbor's dog, and then spent $6 for hamburger and fries, how much money does Tala have left over? So if she had $5, that means she was up here, right? And she spent 2, so we're going to go 2 this way, and now we're at the 3. Emma borrowed 1, so we're going to take 1 more away. Now she's at $2, right? Then she earned $5 walking the neighbor's dog, so we're going to go back 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now she's at $7. But then she spent $6 for a hamburger and fries. So from the $7, we're going to go back this way, because she spent 6 on the hamburger and fries, and this is where we end up. We end up with $1. See? So she had 5. She spent 2. She spent 1. She earned 5. And she spent 6. We can also say that she added a negative. Instead of subtracting a positive, we can say we're adding a negative 2. We're adding a negative 1, adding a 5, and adding a negative 6. We can take the two positive ones, this 5 and that 5, and make a 10. We can take the negative 2 plus the negative 1 plus the negative 6 and add them together to get a negative 9. We have 10 plus a negative 9. Well, that equals 1, and that's where we ended up on the number line. And we can also say it's just 10 minus 9, which equals 1. So remember, subtracting a positive number is the same thing as adding a negative number. Subtracting a positive is the same thing as adding a negative, okay? And we learned that in video 18b. Now it says, what expression does this number line show? So we have a choice of five different expressions. Which one is this number line showing? Well, if you look, it went from the 0 to the negative 4, and then we've got another arrow jumping all the way back up here, and that would be a 3, wouldn't it? If that's the 4, that's a 3. So it went negative 4, 
and then it jumped all the way up here. How many did it go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if you said negative four plus seven, this one, then you're right. It didn't start here because it's got an arrow pointing to that, see? This is where it started. And it didn't start here because the arrow's pointing to that one. So it's not leaving, it's coming to that one, see? Now it says, write the changes on the number line as an expression. So here we've got a ray going from 0 to negative 6, then another one going from negative 6 to positive 4, and then another one going from positive 4 to 2. We start with the one closest to the number line. That's the 0 to negative 6. So it goes to negative 6. Then it goes from negative 6 to positive 4. Then it goes from positive 4 to 2. So that's how we're going to write the expression. We're going to go negative 6. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 hops. So it's negative 6 plus 10 and then minus 2. It's going back again. See? Our answer is a positive 2. We also could have said negative 6 plus 10 plus a negative 2, couldn't we? We could have added a negative. See? So you're going to come across problems like this in the GED math book and you should be able to figure them out now. Just remember you start with the one that's closest to the number line and they might be on top, but just start with the one closest to the number line, then go to the next one, then go to the next one to figure out which direction it's pointing and how many hops it made, okay? So, you should be ready to do that skill focus on page 219. If you get confused, just reread the problem a couple times. And if you're confused and having a lot of trouble on the skill focus, rewatch 18b because we talked about adding and subtracting integers. But don't go to that next lesson until you understand integers. Do not move forward until you understand adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing integers. Okay, it's really important. Otherwise, you're really going to bury yourself. We're going to be solving one-step equations in lesson 19a. That's the next video. There's going to be links to these helpful videos that talk about number lines and integers. All right? And all the previous videos for 18 where we learned all this. Okay? So I will see you in the next lesson and I'm really hoping and counting on you to do a good job and I hope you will and I'll see you next one all right bye